Well, we got a full lot again. And of course, this last weekend, I think they bought almost 30 cars, guys. So over the next couple of weeks, you're going to see tons of new inventory coming in here. Of course, we have to get about 10 to 15 cars to stay open a week. So you'll see almost 60 cars a month come through this lot. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. This is the Lot Walk. Let's get it. Welcome back guys, another week and it's beautiful up here. I couldn't ask for better weather. We're in Hendersonville, Tennessee, if you didn't know that. My name is Nick Southgate and of course we're at Maple Motors. Financing and shipping is available on all of our rides here. You can find additional information such as that and detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Should be a fun, easy walk around. They put eight on today and the only reason they put eight on is because we've been gone all week. We went to a big car show and that's where we usually buy a lot of our cars. We like buying from individuals. That helps us a lot. Also gives us a little bit more information than you would get buying them anywhere else. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started here. If you want to help me out, hit subscribe and share this video. I do appreciate all the comments below. I will be reading them. Also, I know it's coming. You're going to say pop the hoods. Tell me the motors on all of them. I have eight cars that I haven't test drove myself, and if I didn't decode them myself, then I don't know what the motor size is. I can't memorize all that, but I can tell you what, I'll make a test drive video of each and every one of them, and I will decode those motors. Again, that website, it also has that information. This one here up on the corner, this is a 1955 Chevy Bel Air, and we got it priced at $31.9. Also came out here with one of my guys, and we cleaned these cars today. As you can see, they're nice and shiny. They got pollen all in the trees. It was bad this morning. Next to that, 1963 Chevrolet Impala. Priced at $29.9. Yeah, it was kind of nice being, being warm out here, washing all the cars. That used to be my job all the time. I like doing that still, so. Next to the uh, Impala, we got the 68 Ford Mustang. This one went on last week. I never actually got to do the video. I will do it today. It's priced at $17.90. What about this one? This one's pretty new. 1970, best year in the Chevelle at least, a best seller for us, with an LS. It's turboed. $45.9. I'm excited about that one. I hear it's more of a driver. They got it all tuned down for the street. Aftermarket set of wheels too. So I haven't driven this one yet. It's another one of those to the site. Same with this one. 1955 Bel Air. I know it has a four speed. I know it's priced 42.9. Pretty clean looking paint job. The chrome and stuff all around the front looks new. Aftermarket set of wheels, disc brakes. It's drum in the rear, which is fine. And it looks like custom interior. I like the tan. That's different. At least sitting down in a tan seat won't be as hot as sitting down in a black seat. What about this? Flames on the front row. It says a 454. I'll have to check that. Make sure. 1955. That's the best year in my opinion. You know, I like them all. There's something about the looks of a 55. And this one's priced 399. Custom tan interior. Both of these got tan interior. Let's see on the back. Biggest difference in those three years is the tail lights. It's gonna be a good week. I can't wait to show you all the stuff we got out at Rod Run. Don't call and ask, we're not gonna give it away. We're not gonna give away the uh, the secrets that are coming for the next update. I have people call all the time, well, what's coming in the next week? I can't tell you, everybody else would be mad. It's true though. Right here, 2002 GMC Sonoma. Had an old Sonoma back in high school. I love that little truck. This one's on Air Ride. It's 
it's got a lot of custom work done to it along with the paint job and interior plus I have a test drive video on it already so you can go watch it next to the Sonoma it's grandpa the 72 Chevy C10 this one's priced 23.9 did I mention the price on the Sonoma maybe not it's 10.9 And again, the 72 C10 is 23.9. What about the 65 C10? This is great, Grandpa. <laughs> to the Sonoma. 27.9. Bed cover. Aftermarket wheels. Pipes kicked out the side. Then you got the 74 Plymouth Satellite. It's got the 440, priced at 19.9. What about the 70 Monte Carlo? Custom hood, 19.9. And then a 1975 Chevrolet Impala, 17.9. Oh, Cadillac sold. It's a repeat customer. Sometimes you'll see this cars that may be sold for a little while. They'll sit in the same spot for a while. We're just kind of storing them, especially for repeat customers that buy 10 or 15 cars from us a year. And it's very smart to check maplemotors.com to make sure the inventory is available before you call or come down. We update that daily. If it goes on hold or it's sold, we'll update it daily. Hold is not a guaranteed. Hold is not sold until it's paid for. We actually got a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> this is a 1985 Chevrolet truck. It's 4x4. Lift it up. Priced at $13.9. And next to that, a 67 Dodge D100. This one's got the Hemi in it, and it's priced $24.9. I've got plenty more to show you. But I also need to show you something else. Hang on, guys. I'll be back. Oh, you knew it. I had to come to the Hot Wheels room. This is uh, Pops' Hot Wheels room. He's my grandfather. He is the one that started this business 40 years ago. And he also collects Hot Wheels. Actually, he collects a bit of everything, but Hot Wheels is one of the major things that he loves, and he's got a whole store next to Maple Motors. I know a lot of people out there are big into the Hot Wheels industry here. Everything is priced. The video is online. You can go to Jim Fight's Hot Wheels store here on YouTube, or TikTok, or Instagram, and that's gonna get you information on all the cars. Every week he's in here updating with new inventory. Just the same as Maple Motors. So, with that being said, go check it out. Hit subscribe on his channel. Let's get back on the lot. Unfortunately, since uh, we got a lot of new cars in here today and a lot of really good stuff, I can't show you anything but this one that is available in the showroom. Everything else behind it is already sold. This one's a 1941 Willys Coupe, and it's priced $44.9. Let's get back out on the car lot and see what else is actually available. Okay, coming out of the showroom now. We're going to walk. Let's go ahead and walk this side of the lot. Got a nice strong row here. This one is coming up first. A 1931 Chevy sedan. I haven't test drove it yet, but I will be today, hopefully. Priced at $25.9. Next to that, a 1970 Chevrolet Nova. And this one's priced $22.9. $19.69 Pontiac Firebird with a bottle top, $27.9. 68 model, $22.9. It's kind of cool having them next to each other so that you can actually show the differences um when you got to 69 you got the body line running all the way down the car it's the biggest giveaway and it it gives it a d shaped fender well my adhd kicks in as soon as i start doing that and that makes me remember the 68 have an eight shaped fender well the difference between a 68 and a 67 is the vent window there's others you know small stuff that you could point out but that's the dead giveaways i can see it all the way across the parking lot and tell you what year it is when it comes to those three years this one here 1967 ford mustang convertible priced at 27.9 
it's the same exact thing with the Camaro too. So 67 through 69 Camaro, same differences. Okay, so next to that, we got a 1973 Chevrolet Corvette with T-tops and the side pipes. This one's priced at $21.9. Then, of course, next to that, a 1980 Chevrolet Corvette. This one's T-tops as well, priced at $15.9. down the back side here. I got two Mustangs in the middle of the lot and then we have walked this inventory for this week. So we're probably going to walk around one more time, just scan through, make sure we didn't miss anything. I moved everything up from the back and the rest of it got sold. Um, do have a sold bay in the back. I can walk through that before we end. If you'd like. Got the convertible Mustangs sitting right here. We'll start with this one and end with the other one. This one's a 66 model silver paint job got some white walls and of course this one's priced at 32.9 next to it is a 65 model the white letters on the tires blue blue interior and it is also 32.9 Guys, I try to give out all the information that I possibly can on all of these cars so you know what you're getting before you get here. If you notice we got over almost 3,000 videos online reviewing the cars. I like to be honest, so you ain't mad at me when you get here. People always ask, why don't you fix all this stuff? We go through so many cars, there's no way we could fix everything. It's almost better for us just to let you know what's wrong, and that's why we do it. We don't like being, you know, oh, you should do it this way, you should do it that way. We go through 60 cars a month this way. I think we're doing pretty good. I do appreciate y'all's support. And if you do have any uh, ideas on these videos to help make it better, I will listen. I'll check the comments below. I try to keep up. This last week, I didn't answer a whole lot back, but I did read all of them. Um, I was out of town with the wife. We had to get away for a little bit while the crew was out of town buying cars without them I wouldn't be here making the videos for you either we are family my uncles go out they usually buy the car my father does a majority of the paperwork and if you call a lot of times you'll talk to him my grandfather's also on the phone got plenty of guys in the office to answer your questions and financing everybody calls about that we do not do in-house finance the way we finance here is through multiple companies and they're all listed online you can also go through your own bank people do it every day trades yes we'll take a car in on trade if it's modern we usually call the car smart down the road if we don't really want any of the modern stuff we just sell the classics if you do have an old car uh you're going to want to email detailed pictures to us and then you're going to want to call us and say hey i emailed these pictures why hundreds of emails come in every single day and we want we want your business we want to be able to see what cars you want to trade it does take a little bit of time for us to get to all those emails. And me, I just do advertising now. As you heard, sometimes I get out here and wash the cars. Sometimes I'll start working on them. You got to do a little bit of everything when you're in a family business. So this isn't my only job. It's just part of it. I do appreciate you watching. I do appreciate your support. Jump on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. See different videos, different angles. I try to get creative. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.